What's up guys, I'm Zane and today I'm going to show you how to drop ship on Shopify from AliExpress. Now first thing you should do is to simply open your Shopify dashboard and you will have also to use Google Chrome because we will add an extension later on so you have to use Google Chrome browser. Then you will have to open this web page right here and what you should do right now is to simply click on get started and you will have to create an account on Deezers. Don't worry, we're going to use the free version of Deezers just in order to clarify everything in the tutorial. And now once you enter your email and password, you can simply click on get started. And now once you open this page, you will have now to choose Shopify. So I'm gonna click on it, then click on install. Then it will jump you directly to Shopify itself in order to install this application. So I'm gonna click on and install right here. Then here you'll have to click on install again. And now you should make sure that this account right here is the account that you want to log in and authorize with. So I'm gonna click on confirm. And here, as you can see, it will show you their plans. And now I'm gonna click on the basic one, which is free by the way. Now we have to choose AliExpress, then click on register. Now I will click on register even if you have an account, I advise you to make a new one in order to register with it. And now after registration, it will jump you directly to AliExpress homepage. Now go back to Deezer and what you should do right now is to simply add the Deezer's extension. So I'm gonna go back, then what you should do right now is to open Deezer's, then click on home. Then what you should do is to simply click on Chrome extension. And now we have to add this extension to your Chrome. So I'm gonna click on add to Chrome, then click on add extension. And now here, as you can see, I have the extension here on my Google Chrome browser. Now you will have to choose the extensions icon. Then you will need to log in into your account again with Deezer's in order to activate the extension so i'm gonna click on login again and now you can simply log in with the email that you have used or that you have created before okay now i think it's now logged in into your extension and after that you can simply go to aliexpress and choose whatever product that you want i'm gonna choose this product here for example uh, let me choose this one now here you will find this button right here add to deezers so I'm gonna click on it. But before I click on this button, I'll need to show you something. You can simply open the extensions. Then here, as you can see, right click on the extensions and here you will find some options, the shipping options, the country, and also the currency. So you should now adjust these settings according to what you actually need. So here in my case, I will choose the country that I'm going to ship to. Let me choose United Kingdom, for example. And the currency that I'm going to use is the United States dollars. And for the shipping, you, you should know what exactly are you going to do with the shipping. So I'm gonna just leave it all here, for example. And now once you finish, you should click on update settings in order to save all the changes. Now, after updating the settings, now you have to reload this page again in order to make sure that every changes are saved. Now let's go back and enter to the extension and as you can see the changes are saved and now you can simply click on add to Deezers. As you saw it was importing your product and now it successfully imported the AliExpress product. And now after importing the product you will find it in Deezers dashboard. So go back to Deezers and here you will find this option right here import less but just let me refresh this page in order to see if the product is saved or not. As you can see now, I have one product, so I'm gonna click on import list. And now, as you can see here, I have this product. Simply click on it, then click on push to store, and you can simply push it to Shopify by this way. But let's just do some modifications. Now here, as you can see, I have the price in dollars, and actually I was using EGP here on AliExpress. So this is a very important feature, and actually it is calculating it precisely. So now that was the first point. Now the second point, you want to do some modifications and edit this product. So I'm gonna click on this pencil icon right here. And now you have some options or some variants that you have to change. The product, you have the product as you can see. Now go to variants, here you have two colors. Let's say that you want to sell only the black one or the silver one. You can simply click on 
this delete icon right here in order to delete the other color but if you will sell all the products you can simply leave them as you want and you can also check these boxes in order to simply select which one exactly you are going to sell then now you have to go to the description in order to see if there is something that you do not want to add into your description or if you want to do some modifications but this actually can also be done using Shopify itself now go to images you have many images so if you want to exclude some images you can simply click on this checkbox right here you can uncheck it so I'm gonna uncheck these bad photos right here and leave only the good ones let's say that i do not want this picture here for example so i'm going to click on this icon right here then click on save after finishing and now the last thing and the most important thing is the shipping info tap on it and here you should make sure that you have the shipping info directly to the country that you are going to ship to so before if you'd remember one minute ago i choose united kingdom so i have to choose it here also then i'm going to click on search and here, as you can see, you have United Kingdom. And it will show you here on this partition the options of shipping. And this depends on the country you are shipping to. It will take some minutes in order to load. Now, let me choose another country just in order to show you. As you can see, I have chosen United States. And here you have the shipping company, the shipping cost, and the estimated delivery time. And here you have also the tracking information. And above right here, you will have the city or the state. So you can select whatever state in order to see how long will it take. And after you finish, you can simply click on save right here. And now once you finish, you have to click on this icon right here, push to store. And here it will show you the store that you have selected. And it shows me here the Shopify icon. And you can simply choose push to Shopify if you have more than icon or more than option right here. And here you have more options, push all images to your online store, also publish to online store. So I'm gonna check this one right here, also publish to online store. Make sure to check this box. Then after that, you can simply click on push to stores. It will take a couple of minutes. And after loading, as you can see here, it shows you the loading bar. Then after loading, you can simply go to your Shopify store, reload the page and go to products. And once you go to products, you will find here the new product that we have added. As you can see, this is the one that we have added. So I'm going to click on it in order to do some modifications. For example, here you have the description, the photos, and all these stuff. You can just do some modifications in order to get these photos inside its place. But I think this is because I'm just using a free trial of Shopify. And that's all for today. And that's all for today. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to support us with like, subscribe, comment, share, and see you in a new video.